I think the most important thing that I've learned about myself is to say yes. Mars One will establish human settlement on Mars in 2023. In that year, the first group of four humans will land on Mars. A year and a half ago, I really don't think anybody was seriously talking about colonizing another planet. And a year and a half later, they're actually talking about it without laughing. Is there life on Mars? As a young girl, I was a huge fan of Lost in Space. It had all the elements. It was funny, it was a drama, it was a bit of a thriller, it was exciting, and it had silver go-go boots. And it completely captured my imagination as a little girl. And I have absolutely no doubt that that is part of the reason that this spoke to me so deeply and so profoundly. When I first uh, told people that I had made the first cut uh, a year and a half ago, their first reaction was they didn't believe me. And when they had a few days to wrap their head around it and accept that it was real, then they just thought I was crazy. And now there's been a big shift in a, in a relatively small period of time. Uh, people are actually buying into this. They're actually taking it seriously. They're actually asking me, you know, what will you do when you are on Mars? I am not a rocket scientist. I'm not an astrophysicist. Um, I am not an engineer. But I believe that I do have other qualities that are going to be very important when it comes to living, for example, in isolation. I think the number one thing they're looking for is the ability to get along with other people, to understand what makes people tick, to understand how to diffuse tension, if there is tension, to have a great sense of humor, because I'm telling you, that is one of the things that they're looking for in people. They want somebody who knows how to laugh. And anybody who knows me knows that I have a very peculiar kind of laugh that's on YouTube. <laughs> I truly believe that once I get there, I will embrace my work there to such a degree that I won't believe it's my place to come back that my place is to be there and to be um, sending video back to teach people about space from space and to document what's going on and to be the person who's communicating with the rest of, of the humanity back here on Earth. Space really is the next frontier. It is the next place on my bucket list. And for good or for bad, a lot of people don't agree with it. It's not for everyone. It's certainly not everybody's cup of tea. You don't need everyone's approval in life. What other people think about this mission or about me personally is none of my business. My business is to know that um, my goal is to go to Mars. We're all on a one-way trip. We just don't know when it's gonna end. And we don't know where we're gonna be when it's over. Everybody here on Earth is living out their one-way trip. For me, it's just a question of a different geography. This is an international story. And it's real, it's legitimate, and I am one of a very small number of people who have been given this golden opportunity to be a part of something amazing. I want to inspire people to take the time to sit down and think about what their Mars is. You know, what is your Mars? And whatever it is, start saying yes to it. Be the person who has figured out what it is that sets you on fire. And whatever that thing is, start saying yes to it. <laughs>